Hello, hello. I'm the Impish Scrub, trying to find and make some sense in this crazy, crazy world. I'm going to do another how-to today, and today's how-to is uh, how to be a good person when someone you love is going through death and or bereavement. Well, the two are interchangeable. Grief from bereavement, from loss. <clears throat> um, we all know about the seven stages of um, grief. We all know that um, we do, right? Right. There are seven stages of grief. So, um, and uh, warning for you, grief is not neat and tidy. It's not done in like the person who is experiencing it has been hit by a ten-ton truck. The most important thing and the best thing that you can possibly do is put the phone down, shut the fuck up, and listen. One more time, the best thing you can do is put the phone down, shut the fuck up and listen. This person has been hit by a 10 ton truck. Someone they love is no longer there. No matter what anyone does, you, they, there is no more one more time. There is no one last chance to get things right. There is no bringing them back in a time machine. They're gone and on that one level you can't take away the pain you just have to sit with them and process it and let them just process it how they process it um it's not neat and tidy it's not done in a week there are future birthdays there are going to be random reminders there are times where someone thinks they're absolutely fine and then they're just it hits them, that 10 ton, ton truck, yet again. On a practical level, um, there are, there's funeral slash cremation, there are papers in order to sort out, there are belongings, and, um, you know, don't, you know, it's something for that person to focus on, and it's a very important focus, but there are also other things as well, um, to reiterate, that person has been hit by a 10 ton truck. You know, your appetite goes weird. Um, you know, one minute someone will be absolutely, no, I couldn't eat, I couldn't eat, and just mainlining alcohol and cigarettes, and the next thing they're just going to be stuffing their face with, like, all the comfort food, because comfort. Um, in fact, if you just want to be a better human being, the skinny is just put that phone down, Shut the fuck up and listen. Now is not the time for you to impose your spiritual slash agnostic beliefs. Now is not the time to say, well, if you ask me, no, no one asked you. Now is not the time for you to say um, what you actually thought of them or about that time when you know, sort of like memories are all well and good, but it's not about you. Okay? It's about this person. You can't take it away. You just have to sit with them and give them the space. Um, on a practical level, you know, just to reiterate, that person has been hit by a 10 ton truck. It, just things like cleaning the place is just going to be uh, just, the, no. Um, you know, by all means offer to help, you know, they might not want someone to, someone's shoulder to cry on, they might just want someone to mop the floor. It's not for you to judge. And, um, yeah, people process grief in very different ways. And, um, yeah, just the TLDR, shut the fuck up and listen. And, um, yeah, same time, same place. Um, I'm the English scribe. Uh, it's one of the buttons there. Do, 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 do. Here's my internet cat on the piano impersonation. You can also go over to Instagram where I'm there as the English scribe. I ask daily questions and if you want to join in, I'd really love to see you there. Take care of yourself. Same time, same place.